Welcome back to the second part of our expedition to the realm of modes. I am Alex the Curator and I am going to pick you up from where I left you last time. Right, we had explored the true origin and naming of ancient modes before we discovered that our findings do not really tally with our contemporary practice and teaching. So something must have happened in the meantime. This something happened in the Middle Ages. But what caused this something to happen in the Middle Ages? And why did it happen in the Middle Ages? And here we are digging again to find the missing link. I mentioned Boethius. By the way, his full name was Anitius Manlius Torquatus Severinus Boethius, born AD 475 in Rome. Obviously, there are a couple of die-hard anecdotes and legends about him, but the historic facts are that he, as a member of a noble Roman family, had access to high education and a nice career, either in academia or politics, or both. In AD 510, he was appointed to consul and counselor of the East Goth king Theodoric. At those times, by the way, there was quite a bit of political tension between West Rome and East Rome, or Byzants, and Boethius was suspected to have undercover connections to the Emperor's court in Byzance. This brought him a ticket to prison, where he wore, wrote, of course, nicely in Latin, De Consolatione Philosophiae, the consolation of philosophy, while waiting in death row for his execution, which then took place in AD 524. A year later, also his father-in-law got himself decapitated. Well, politics. Apart from De Consolatione, Boethius wrote De Institutione Musica. Credit to this work that were copied multiple times, first in handwriting, then even printed, the knowledge and erudition got passed through to the ages. They contain reference to the classic Greek philosophers and contributed to the promotion of ancient Greek music in the Middle Ages. Now, in the Middle Ages, confusion arose between the modes and their names, since medieval theorists determined the modal structure from the opposite direction. This means, in order to determine the particular modal scale, it was common practice in ancient Greece to start counting the notes from the highest pitch descending, going downwards based on the practical use of the lyre, while medieval musicians started at the lowest pitch and ascended. Basically what we are still doing nowadays. Spacing the intervals as tones and semitones, or major and minor second if you so wish, in the reverse order, gave us part of the medieval or ecclesiastical correspondences. Let me start with the original three basic modes that emerged from the first three tetrachords. Do you remember the paranity that I mentioned last time? The pitch beyond or below the lowest lyre string? Part of Greek reasoning was that the lowest note was founded on the note below, kind of its base, which in turn was neither counted nor played. The Dorian mode started on E, which in turn was based on D. Medieval theorists then considered the lower than lowest note as the starting point of the mode and, hey presto, the Dorian mode started on D and of course it had to be ascending. The reverted original Dorian mode became Frisian and vice versa. What happened to the original Lydian mode? Its transposition to Hypolydian, you remember the transposition by descending a fifth, creating the hypoversion of a mode? This happened to the Lydian mode. Hypolydian then became just Lydian, and the original Lydian was replaced by the Ionian mode, which in turn was hypophrygian. So we can see that some transposed modes replaced the authentic, the original ones. Strange as it seems, the Mexolydian was like exempted from this kind of processing. Hyperdorian was relabeled as Aeolian, 
and hyper Dorian be over Dorian, like we have hyper and hypertonic, hyperactive, and so on, um, because it was derived from Dorian by transposition by an ascending fifth, was then relabeled the Locrian mode. From here we can see that the different allocations could be attributed to different factors. The issue of playing scales and counting notes ascending, respectively descending. From which note do we have to count? From the lowest or from the foundation note? Just think of how we count musical intervals and how we count the steps when playing Ludo. Furthermore, taking transposed modes as the authentic ones, or shall we say pre replacing original modes by their transpositions. All this happened to the different perspective of medieval musicians. What we call now modes and the way we play them and squeeze ourselves through the theory exams is a synthesis of the ancient Greek theory of the harmonies and medieval common practice. After medieval times, we have been mostly using the transpositions of two modes, namely the Ionian, or should we say the original Lydian, which is better known as Major, and Aeolian, or rather Hyperdorian, better known as Natural Minor. However, in this table, modes are shown in their present state. I hope you found this interesting. In case, feel free to like, share and subscribe. I thank you for your time. See you soon at Caverna Draconis.